Good morning, sir. May I come in? Yes, please. Take a seat. Hi. Uh, good morning, sir. How are you? How can I help you? So basically, uh, what I need is uh, I am planning to start a business, and uh, I need to calculate my uh, the return from the investment. Basically, the the uh, IRR for that particular investment. I need my project return to be nine percent. Well, you want the project IRR to be nine percent or equity IRR to be nine percent. So, what is the difference between uh, project IRR and equity IRR? I have no idea about it. Well, the difference between the project IRR and equity IRR. Let me explain it. The project IRR means it will take into account the total investment and the total cash flows from the project. So based on that you can identify the project IRR regardless of the equity financing and debt financing. So you need to take into account your total investment. Your total investment consists of uh, equity uh, contribution and debt contribution. So you need to consider both in order to identify the project IRR. Is that clear? Well, then how about uh, equity IRR? Okay, so let me explain about equity IRR. So what is equity IRR? Equity IRR means you need to consider only the equity contribution to the project okay so in that scenario what you should consider is only the cash flows uh, belongs to the equity shareholders so in that case from the total cash flows you need to eliminate uh, all the uh, debt financing payment so capital repayment and the interest payment so once you eliminate that what is remaining will be uh, available for the equity shareholders. So from that you can identify the equity IRR. Sure. So what I can do is I have basically uh, calculated, I have identified the project cash flows for 10 years period and I just want to based on this uh, 10 years period cash flow I need to identify the uh, project IRR and equity IRR and also I need to exit from the business uh, in the 10th year. So will it be uh, possible for you to calculate uh, the IRR for this uh, investment? Okay, show me your numbers. Will it be okay if I put it in an Excel sheet and if I explain you the difference? Will it be okay? Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Thank you very much. Let me uh, have a look on the, the calculation. Let's try to calculate uh, project and equity IRR. Now you are given set of information. Okay. Now you are given the uh, construction cost. Uh, then the annual rental income on the uh, property will be 11,500. The sale value at the end of the project will be 160,000. Now the equity contribution is 40% and the debt contribution is 60%. The cost of equity will be 13%, cost of debt is 6% and the weighted average cost of capital uh, by considering the equity and debt will be 8.8. .8. The project period is 10 years. So you need to calculate the project IRR and equity IRR. Now first of all let's calculate the project IRR. First of all we'll take the cash outflows which is the construction cost which is 100,000, so which will be the cash outflow. Then we'll take the rental income from year one onwards, which is uh, 11,500. So throughout the period, so the, the project will earn 11,500. So I will drag this till year 10. Then the sale value at the end of the project will be how much? 160,000, so this is the sale value. So you can see the total project, uh, total cash flows, the year 0, 100,000 minus and 11,500 up to year 9 
Then year 10, it will be 171,500 including sales value. Now, as I told you, when you take the, when you calculate the project IRR, we need to take the, we need to take the, the income attributable to the project. So excluding the financing cash flows, we should not include any financing cash flows. So which means the interest and the capital repayment on the loan. So as far as the project is concerned, this full amount, 100,000 is the project cost. This is invested regardless of the equity and the debt contribute, contribution. We need to take the project cash outflows since we are going to calculate the project IRR. So when you calculate it, the formula is already there. So you can simply use the IRR formula, which is uh, which will be how much? 14.5%. So this is how you calculate the project IRR. Now let's move on to calculate the equity IRR. So for which we need to take the financing cash flows. First of all, we'll take the equity contribution. How much is the equity contribution? Out of the total project cost, out of total project cost, equity contribution is 40%. Then the loan contribution will be how much? Uh, 60%. So we'll take 60% of the 100,000, which will be 60%. Then, since we are going to calculate the equity IRR, we need to take only the equity contribu contributors investment, which is 40% of 100,000 will be 40,000. Then the rental income, we are going to generate 11,500. The project will earn 11,500 throughout the period. So we need to take till year 10. Then the sale value at the end of the project will be 160,000. Apart from that, what we need to do is we need to incorporate the financing cash flow. Okay. So here what we are going to ascertain or identify is the cash flows attributable to the equity contributors. So when you say equity contributors, we need to remove the interest and the loan repayment to the loan contributors. Okay. So this we can calculate simply by using the PMT formula, Excel formula. So PMT will calculate the equal amount to be repaid over the project period. Okay, so by using PMT function, we can calculate the e equal amount of money to be paid over 10 years. So this includes the interest and the uh, principal amounts. And also you can prepare a loan schedule as well. So I will show you the, uh, the method of calculating that as well. It's a lengthy process, but for this uh, calculation purpose, I will use PMT function. So I will use the PMT function. So the rate, of the uh, the cost of debt is 6% then uh, you need to take the NPER which is the the number of years number of years which is 10 years the project period is 10 years the present value of the loan which is uh, 60,000 so that will be how much so in fact you need to take uh, the minus, it should be a minus figure because it's a repayment of interest and the principal amount. The same figure you can take over 10 years period. So thereby you can see your the total cash flows for the equity contributors. Their investment is 40,000 uh, initial investment and the cash flows attributable to the equity uh, contributors will be 3,348 over the period of 10 years after eliminating the interest and the principal payment. At the end of year 10, including sales value, it will be 163,348. So in fact, this should be equity IRR. So this should be equity IRR. So as you can see, it's totally different from calculating the project IRR uh, and the equity IRR. So as you can see, there's a, uh, a clear difference between project IRR and equity IRR. Now, as I told you, 
to calculate the PMT, what you can do is, I have already prepared that schedule. I will show you. So, what you can do is, opening balance. So, opening balance uh, of the loan uh, amount is 60,000. On that, the interest, when you calculate the interest, uh, 6%, so which will be 3,600. Then, the total uh, loan amount outstanding, including the interest, will be 63,600. Then, the repayment will be 8,152. The closing balance will be 55,448. Then, based on the closing balance, the opening uh, interest will be calculated. So, likewise, it will continue until year 10. So, at the end of year 10, the amount balance will be 0. So, this is uh, based on the schedule also you can calculate the uh, the repayment amount so uh, this is the uh, this is how you calculate so this is the main difference between project irr and equity irr so i hope uh, you found this uh, very useful uh, if you like the video please uh, subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon with another uh, video until then bye for now